Assalamu alaikum, students of class 7. Hope you're all keeping well and are enjoying the Ramadan vacation. So here I am in front of you today to present an ICT class and this time it's going to be practical. And the topic is Microsoft Excel. How can we use Microsoft Excel to create graphs and tables? So Excel is used for mathematical calculations and we also use it to present some information, whether it's mathematical or not. So we're going to be looking at how can we use some existing information or information that we make to create a table or a graph. Okay, that's going to be the focus of today's lesson. So let's dive into Microsoft Excel. Okay guys, so we're in Microsoft Excel and this is what the goal of today's class is. We're going to learn how can we make these types of charts that you can see on your screen right now. So here we've got one chart which is showing the net profit and one chart which is showing everything inside of the table. So when we make any sort of chart or a graph, we need to have some data because using that data, that's where the graphs are produced. So first we need to make a table and then using that uh, data in the table, we can create these types of graphs. So we're going to be learning how to do that today. So let's just have a quick look at this table. So this table is showing us the gross profit and the net profit for some chocolate, which is being sold. So profit, as you know, is the money that a business makes. So gross profit is basically the money that a business makes. Uh, before its costs and net profit is the profit that it makes after the cost. So net profit is like the money that the business keeps inside of their pocket. So and gross profit is basically the money that it makes before their costs like salary, bills, rents, etc. Okay, that's the basic thing. So we're going to be understanding how can we make some charts, right? So let's begin. So first we need to create that data. So we need to make a table as such. So here's some tips about how to make a table. So I'm going to resize some cells so we know if i want to resize a cell i just uh, we just move our mouse in between any row or column and once we have that black arrow we can resize it right now if i want to do multiple cells um it's the best way to do any um table making so to make it nice and clean just highlight the cells which you're going to be using and then you can resize the cell and then each cell will have that same size so i'm going to be using um, columns a b and c i'm only going to be using three columns, I want them to be the same size. So I highlight those three columns, I move my mouse in between the cell. So I'm going to resize these at near 100 pixels. So, okay, 104 pixels. So now I let go. Now, if I look at that, all of my different columns are at that size, right? Column A, column B, and column C, they're all at that size. So I'm going to have row one, I'm going to just make that big, I'm going to put that about 50 pixels, okay. Now I'm going to have columns, uh, sorry, rows three, two, three, and four. I'm going to make them. So I'm going to highlight those three rows, and I'm going to make them at about uh, forty-five pixels. Uh, okay, forty-six pixels. So now you can see uh, I'm going to make that one bigger. So I'll make uh, that one bigger. But now we can see columns two, three, and four. They're all at that same size, 46, 46, 46 pixels, and the top one is 50. I'm going to make the top one a bit bigger, so I'll put that at 72 pixels. Okay, so there we go. That's how you can make a table. So I'll just show you that again. So if I want to resize multiple columns and multiple rows, I just highlight the columns I'm going to be using. I'm going to make that to 50, 43 pixels now. So now you can see A, B, and C. All of them are at 43 pixels. So whatever cells or columns, uh, whatever columns or rows that you want to use, just highlight them and then just resize them as such. So I'm going to put these back to 100 pixels. So now A, B and C are at 100 pixels. And notice everything else is at the same size. Okay. So again, the same thing if I want to resize multiple rows. So I just highlight the rows which I'm going to be using. So now I'm going to put 2, 3 and 4 at 14 pixels. And I can see 2, 3 and 4 are extremely narrow. Okay. 14 pixels, 14 pixels, 14 pixels. So just highlight the rows which you want to be using and then just resize them as such and then everything will be at the same size if you highlight them okay that's the easiest way to resize your tables you can see everything is at the same size okay so let's put that back to normal now let's put the information in okay so the first one is about item uh, then it's his gross profit And the last one, net profit. Oops. Okay, so names of chocolate, so Cadbury's, and then I'll put down Hershey's. And the last one, I'll put down Ferrero. 
think my spelling might be wrong, but let's just leave it at that. Okay, so now I'm just going to put in some numbers. So usually gross profit is higher than the net profit because you know gross profit is some money made before expenses. So I'll put that down. Oops, I don't. Let's make sure these are some big numbers. Make sure the net profit is smaller. Okay. Oops. Okay. So I'll put in my information now. If I go into my example here we can see that it's not looking quite the same if you look here uh, in the example that the writing is in the middle of the cell so let's make our table look a bit better so if we want to move uh, writing in the middle of the cell we need to use the alignment button so highlight it so in the home menu above the normal alignment buttons are left align right align middle align above that you've got your cell alignment options so i want at the bottom of the cell the middle of the cell or at the top of the cell so i want these at the middle of the cell so i'm going to click middle align now that's in the middle and I'll also use normal middle align so it's nice and snug inside the middle of the cell. I'm going to do the same with the chocolate. I'm going to make sure that they're in the middle of the cell. Exactly the same. And I'm going to do the same with the numbers. Make sure that they're in the middle of the cell. But I'll leave that aligned to the right hand side. Okay, so now I'll highlight the table data. Give it a border to make it look good. And do some shading as well. Just, um, Always keep your table looking good. It's always important to present your information in a good way. Okay, so there's a chocolate, so I've got that. And now I'm going to make that great. So use the fill option to give your tables some colour. Okay, so now my table is looking much more similar to the one in the example. So it's going to make the text bigger, so I'll highlight the text. So again, in the home menu, you can find all the different options that you want to to make your to customize your table to your choice. Okay, there we go. Now, so I've got my information made now. So now I need to make those graphs. So what I need to do is I need to highlight the information. Highlight all the information inside of the table, then I go to the insert menu. Now, uh, depending on which version of Microsoft Office are you using, it might look different to what you're seeing on the screen right now. So I'm using uh, Microsoft Office 365. But generally the principle is the same. You go to the insert menu and then you'll find the chart option. So when you go into the chart option, there'll be lots of different types of graphs. And if you click on the drop down arrows, you'll see the different types of graphs which are available for you to use. So I'm going to click on 2D console again. So I highlight everything inside the table. I go to the insert menu. And from there, I use a drop down arrow and I choose a graph of my choice. So when I click on the graph, that will now be inserted onto the spreadsheet. So now you can see I've got that graph which is showing um, the gross profit and the net profit. There's a legend at the bottom, so the blue is the gross profit and the orange is the net profit. Okay, so when I click onto the table, there's a few things that I can actually manipulate. So if I click here, I've got one text box, uh, which is a chart title. And if I click here, I can actually move the graph around uh, where the bars are. I can actually move that. And the last thing I can click is the legend. So I can move that anywhere on the chart right so those are things which i can manipulate after i've inserted it onto the spreadsheet okay so i can i'm going to rename the chart title let's put that chocolate sales so you can see that we can rename some elements of our charts chocolate sales okay now then so that's showing me all the data which is inside of my table now what if i only want a graph which is showing me just the gross profit then I just make sure I highlight the item and I highlight the gross profit and then I go to the insert menu and again I go to the charts option and then I choose a chart of my choice so now I've got a table which is only showing me the gross profit okay now then what about net profit so that's going to be a bit more tricky to highlight right so because you can see there's a gap um, where item and net profit is. If I want to highlight that, I need to make sure that I'm just selecting two separate things at once by using the control button. So I highlight item and then I hold control on my keyboard and then I highlight net profit. So now I've got these two columns highlighted. I've got column A highlighted and I've got column C highlighted, right? But I can't do that without using the control button on the keyboard because B is in the way. So I need to highlight column A, everything in column A. I hold onto control on my keyboard and now I uh, highlight everything in column C. Now I can let go of control on my keyboard. I can also let go of my mouse and go to insert. And then I go to the charts and I choose an, uh, 
another table. So now you can see I've got a different chart which is showing me net profit. Okay, so I'll show that again. So I'll delete that. So I'm going to highlight everything in column A and then I hold on to control on my keyboard and then I select and highlight everything in column C. Now I can let go of control. I can also let go of the left button on my mouse. And now I can go to insert and then I go to the charts. I choose the chart of my choice. And now you can see I have a chart which is showing me just the net profits. Okay, and if I want to resize anything, again, just like any image uh, that we use in Microsoft Office or whatever, you just move your mouse over the circles and you resize it the way that you want to. And when you have the black arrow, you can move it anywhere on your screen. Okay. So guys, that's how you make tables on Excel. So first you need to input some data and from there you just highlight the information that you want to use in your graph. From there you go to the insert menu and then you choose the charts of your choice. And if you need to select any specific pieces of information, you might need to just use control on your keyboard, like the way you had to do with net profit because there's a gap, uh, had to overcome the gap where the gross profit is listed. Okay, so I hope that's clear to you. Uh, so do have a practice, put some information in a table and highlight that data, go to the insert menu and put in some charts. Okay then class seven, I uh, hope that class was clear to you. So do have a practice around with Microsoft Excel if possible. So make a table, put some information inside of it and make a chart by going to the insert menu. Uh, so inshallah there'll be some more practical classes in the near future. We'll uh, brush up on some of the things that we learned previously. It's been a long time since we actually had a class together. So we'll have a revision session looking at what we previously learned. And also we will be learning some new things as well. So um, enjoy Ramadan. Keep us in your prayers. And you know, let's hope for the best. Assalamu alaikum.